Welcome to the HyperWorks 2023 introduction videos. This video is about model display options. You will see how to choose display options for geometry and FE entities and hide and display certain entities in different ways. The shading mode for geometry or FE entities can be set globally through global geometry mesh visualization. At the end of this video, you will see how to set the shading mode individually per component instead of globally. Face color lets you disable automatic coloring and select a special mode. For elements, coloring by property or by thickness may be of particular interest. When coloring by thickness, a legend is displayed that allows you to hide elements below or above a certain thickness value. With Element and Handle Visualization, you can also show shell elements in 3D with their actual thickness. Let's move to turning Entity Display on and off. From the Entity list of the selector, select Solids. Then right-click and select Show All. To display only a selection of entities, select one solid, then right-click and select Isolate. To display the full model content, set the selector to All. Then right-click and select Show Model. Next, let us see how to turn on display of adjacent entities. Switch the selector to Elements, then isolate one element. Now, right-click and select More, Show Adjacent. Note that the menu informs you that clicking the J key would also perform that action. After the exercise, take some time to familiarize yourself with many other keys that help you with quick display and selection, such as A, I, H, R, and many others. Let us practice briefly how to display selected elements using keys. Make sure that the selector is set to elements. By the way, you can do that also with the keys. Try pressing the N key to see that the selector is set to nodes. Then try pressing the E key to set the selector to elements. Now hit the A key, which will show all elements. Then select a good half of your model by pulling up a window. And then hit the H key to hide the selected elements. To undo hiding or unhiding, you can use the Ctrl plus Z key combination. Let's briefly recall the possibility of hiding cutout parts of the model. This is possible with the help of section cuts. Details can be found in the video about viewing the model. Now let's see what the browsers offer in terms of displaying entities. In the model browser, right-click and open the Components category. The first two columns indicate whether geometry and mesh, which are stored in a component, are displayed or not. Click the icons to change the display status. You can also do this for multiple selected components using the right-click menu. Additionally, you can select a color per component. And finally, the shading mode, which can be set individually for each component. The next video in the series will show you how to work with browsers. Thanks for watching.